Hello, my name is Delvon Mattingly, and I'm a research assistant professor at the University of Kentucky College of Medicine in the Department of Behavioral Science in the Center for Health Equity Transformation. I'm a former trainee of the Center for the Assessment of Tobacco Regulations, or CASTOR, and received my PhD in epidemiology at the University of Michigan School of Public Health. My work in tobacco regulatory science includes investigating disparities in tobacco product specific use and associated health consequences. Specifically, I'm interested in factors driving racial and ethnic disparities in use, such as structural racism, racial and ethnic discrimination, and exposure to the criminal legal system, as well as ways in which we can promote health equity. These research projects are relevant to tobacco regulatory science as the tobacco industry has a profound history of targeting racial and ethnic minority groups for the promotion and endorsement of certain tobacco products. During my time at Castor, I did not work directly on computational modeling, but my research helped inform modeling efforts on Project 3, or modeling the impact of tobacco control policies on polytobacco use and associated health disparities. Polytobacco use, or the use of multiple tobacco products at once, is a significant public health problem, and my work helped determine populations most susceptible to this use behavior, as well as factors that are associated with use, such as discrimination, mental health comorbidity, and other social factors. I found tobacco regulatory science during my Master's of Science program at the University of Louisville. I was seeking out opportunities for funding and was approached by Drs. Shory Hart and Candy Walker in the Department of Communications about working on a project tied to a broader Tobacco Centers of Regulatory Science group at the American Heart Association. Their project was focused on tobacco use perceptions, behaviors, and attitudes among a vulnerable population of Appalachian youth. This work first exposed me to tobacco use research and highlighted the inequities that plague many at-risk or marginalized groups. As an extension to this work, I started thinking about the black community and the burden of tobacco use, and I also weaved in my interest in social epidemiology to help develop the research area of focus that I have today. Those opportunities at the University of Louisville led me to collaborating with Castor as a trainee after I transitioned to pursuing a PhD. So for those of you who are interested in tobacco regulatory science and modeling in particular, I have two pieces of advice. One, I highly encourage that you try to work with a diverse interdisciplinary team in order to answer these complex research questions regarding tobacco regulatory science and the assessment of policies that aim to mitigate the tobacco burden in the US. There's no one size fits all solution to truly mitigating the public health impact of tobacco use in this country. And achieving such a feat will require multiple perspectives and collaborations. Following this advice will also give you the opportunity to explore what other scholars and researchers are doing in order to, to push tobacco regulatory science in the right direction. Two, please do not consider solutions such as intervention to policies to tobacco-related problems in this country without also considering the equity impact. A rising tide might not lift all boats equally, and as we begin to assess the role new policies and interventions play in preventing and reducing tobacco product use, we must also pay attention to whether they impact groups, especially groups susceptible to use or use of certain products, equally. While a reduction in overall population level tobacco use is an important goal, if some groups are left behind, or in other words, not as positively impacted, we will see an unfortunate increase in disparities, which is neither just nor good. So please, I advise that you consider equity in your work in this field. And with that, it has been an honor being affiliated with Castor and all of its wonderful and collaborative members. Thank you for listening in. And if you're a new Castor member, welcome to the team.